standing order and gift aid form, and you'll find one of those there. That's for, that's for, that's for a different evening. Eventually we arranged to meet with David again on the 13th of September and we brought our proposal to him. Uh, he and Sarah took some time to discuss and pray and on the 27th of September he came back to us to say that he was happy for us to bring his name to the church. And the fact that we're gathered here uh, tonight would confirm that he agreed to accept that call. <laughs> Been along just at the beginning of the service. He's, in, he's under the spotlight here just now. So, <laughs> so we are gathered uh, tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to induct David Kimber as pastor of this church and congregation. In the presence of God and of this congregation, will you answer with all sincerity of heart the questions that I now ask you? Do you believe in one God? the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and you now confess in you Jesus Christ as your Saviour and Lord. I do. Do you believe in your heart that you are called of God into the ministry of the Gospel and the pastoral oversight of this church? I do. Do you promise to preach and teach the Word of God from the Holy Scriptures, to shepherd the flock of Christ, and execute your charge with all your peace. I do. Do you promise to be faithful in prayer and in the reading and study of the Holy Scriptures and to lead a life worthy of your calling? I will endeavour to do so, the Lord being my help. Now, will the members of the church please stand? Do you, the members of the Connie Baptist Church, acknowledge and receive David Kimber? as the pastor of this church and congregation, and will you work together with him, giving him all due honour and support in the Lord. Thank you. It's about, well, today has, the day has arrived. Uh, um, he may not have a white beard like Santa, but he does have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> but the important thing is, yeah, he is here. Uh, and even more importantly, I believe he's God's man, and he's God's man here uh, in God's time. You heard there that uh, David has done his theological training at the Irish Baptist College. Uh, at IBC they don't just train pastors, they also um, train those who are going to go overseas to do mission work overseas. Uh, and some of them after they leave IBC, uh, they maybe go to live in the country where they're going to work to acclimatise themselves to the culture and all that. Uh, and I know from chatting to David and Sarah over the last few months that you would love to see that sense of family and, and unity continue. So, David and Sarah Harper, the Lord will bless you beyond measure as you join with us. Uh, that you and your pastor here, that you would see uh, a work of God in this uh, community. Uh, and Christine is going to come up and, and present some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a service of thanksgiving. That's what this service is. This is really a, a service of thanksgiving. So, uh, we thank God for all that He has done. And I testify to the fact that during my time in Northern Ireland, <laughs> uh, I haven't got an accent quite yet, but give me five years here or more, and I'll have it nailed, <laughs> with John's help. As a church, may we desire to see lost souls saved. One for Christ. May this church here be built up in its faith. And most importantly, that the name of Jesus is and always will be exalted from this place. 
that we would be a wonderful witness to the surrounding community, that we would be a light on a hill, a light in this place, in this valley, in County Tyrone, that we will shine bright, brighter than ever, for His name.